This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Therapy Online. Being happy is great. Moments of joy are great. But being whole and complete is the real life goal. Visit betterhelp.com super and get on your journey to finding wholeness. Hey brother, evil emperor Zerg. I'm not gonna lie, this guy has always had one of my all time favorite character designs. He's giant and purple, but he's got those menacing red eyes. He's robotic, but there's clearly something human about him. I mean, otherwise, how could he be Buzz's father, right? He's got the ion blaster, the scary claw, and is clearly inspired by Darth Vader, who might be my favorite fictional character of all time. Which on a completely unrelated note, have you guys met my son, Luke? Oh my God, he's so adorable. Look, he was just Captain America for Halloween. I can do this all day. Which, hey, Captain America, played by Chris Evans, the voice of Buzz Lightyear, so we're right back on track. Anyway, I've always loved whenever Zerg showed up, but as of Lightyear coming out earlier this year, I suddenly have way more questions questions about him, then we seem to have answers. Like, is he actually Buzz's dad? Because despite his claims in Toy Story 2, it would appear that in Lightyear, he's just an older version of Buzz. And was he actually an emperor? Because it looked to me like he was just some old guy time traveler dude with like 24 robots and one ship, which I'm just gonna say it, not much of an empire. And what about being a sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance? I mean, as far as I can tell, you showed up one week ago to, in your mind, help them? I know, it doesn't seem like it makes sense, but that's because it all comes down to this. So far, we have not met the real Zerg, and I have the ultimate source to prove it. Emperor Zerg. For so long, his story seemed pretty straightforward to me, and we start learning it like 15 minutes into Toy Story 1 when Buzz is introducing himself to the rest of Andy's toys. I protect the galaxy from the threat of invasion from the evil Emperor Zerg, sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance. And right away, I get it. Buzz is a space-themed superhero with a really fun-sounding arch nemesis. Cool. But wait, there's more. Later in the movie, Buzz explains to Woody the true peril everyone is in thanks to him being stranded on Earth. Boys at the edge of the galaxy. Emperor Zerg has been secretly building a weapon with the destructive capacity to annihilate an entire planet. Oh, it's a Death Star. I get it, Buzz is based on Star Wars. Emperor Zerg, more like Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> But really, that's all we learned about Zerg in Toy Story 1, by the end of which Buzz has accepted he's not a space ranger and is a toy, so I honestly didn't think we'd ever hear about Zerg again. But boy was I wrong. The next movie literally starts with Buzz crash landing onto Zerg's base to fight off his robot army and infiltrate his letter Z themed base. Now it turns out this is only a video game, but even when I was a kid and still today, it confuses me that in the video game, Buzz is looking for a battery? I mean, I guess it's still just the power source which is similar to the crystal in Lightyear, but like, why not just make it a crystal? Why not make it anything not so toy themed? I know, your guess is as good as mine, although I guess it's possible they just, you know, didn't plan this out 20 years in advance, but that would be disappointing. But no big deal, because later in that same movie, Zerg the toy himself shows up to hunt down Buzz and his friends, and this is where we get some very interesting information. You killed my father! No, Buzz. I am your father. Oh, so like not just like Emperor Palpatine, but like a Palpatine Vader combo wheelie dealy. That's awesome. <laughs> Either way, by the end of the movie, Buzz and Zerg make up, and that's the end of the story, right? Wrong. Because as of this year, we got a ton more information about Buzz and Zerg, which was really exciting, except that so much of what we learned seems to be in direct conflict with what we already know. And really, there's like no excuse for this to happen at all. The movie starts with a screen of text explaining that Andy's toy Buzz Lightyear is based on the movie we're about to see. So everything about the toys should be accurate to the movie. And in large part, this is pretty much true. As we see in Lightyear, Toy Buzz acts almost identically to his on-screen counterpart. Buzz Lightyear mission log. Buzz Lightyear mission log. Strange planet. Strange planet. Terrain seems a bit unstable. Terrain seems a bit unstable. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. There seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. And yet, while his mannerisms are spot on, his information is way off, or at least appears to be. For example, as we said before, some of the first things Buzz ever says is that the evil Emperor Zerg is the sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance. And yet, in Lightyear, Zerg 
is none of these things. I mean, first of all, Zerg's mission is to complete his mission from when he was a space ranger, which in his mind involves helping everyone on the planet. I mean, obviously he's not helping, but he's clearly also not a sworn enemy of the Galactic Alliance, which speaking of which, what alliance? Interestingly, the phrase Galactic Alliance is only mentioned once in all of Lightyear, and it's right here at the very end after the events of the movie. The Galactic Alliance. But what alliance? Doesn't that imply some other planets to be aligned with? And if you had allies, how'd you get stranded on this planet for so long? All I can assume is that after the events of the movie and now with access to hyperdrive, they were able to quickly connect or reconnect with former allies again, who I guess just lost track of them for 60 years. Some allies. Meow, 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 meow. 22 years, 19 weeks, and four days. But so if none of that is in Lightyear, then what is toy Buzz going on about evil Emperor Zerg? And what base is Buzz supposed to be infiltrating in the video game? I mean, none of that was in the movie either. Well, here's what I think is happening. By the time Andy gets Buzz in Toy Story 1, more than one Lightyear movie has come out in universe. Specifically, I think one sequel has come out and that is where Toy Buzz is coming from. Because if the in-universe Lightyear movies are as much like the Star Wars movies as they seem to be, then there's likely a trilogy. And if I had to guess, the third one comes out between Toy Story 1 and 2, hence the new accessory belt you can buy for Buzz in Toy Story 2. And in fact, we don't even have to assume. We know that in-universe sequels to Lightyear exist. And the proof is the post credit scene of Lightyear, where Zerg's eyes suddenly reanimate and we reveal that he didn't actually die, thus setting up a sequel. All right, guys, and now we need to pause a second to talk about today's sponsor, MeUndies. Well, everybody, it is no Remember, which means according to this uh, ad copy I have to read and also the local radio stations, it is officially the holiday season. I know, I can't believe it's already here, but I guess that means it's time to start celebrating. And of course, by celebrating, I mean getting cozy in your PJs and watching every seasonally themed rom-com that exists or you know, whatever, whatever you do to celebrate the holidays. But really, really what it means is that it's the most wonderful time of the year to finally try MeUndies. Because they are currently offering a truly merry deal. 20% off your first order, plus free standard shipping and returns when you head to MeUndies.com slash theories. Now you guys know me, I love MeUndies and wear them year round. So when the holidays get here, when it's winter, when it's cold, that is when you can truly embrace their warm, cozy, soft glory. Seriously, I have a subscription at home and every time I get a new pair, I've just been ditching an old pair and now my entire my entire drawer is nothing but super duper soft, colorful, and fun undies. Not joking. But it's not just me, my entire family wears them because there is nothing softer and because they're so breathable, you don't have to worry about ever getting too hot. It's basically the coziest situation there ever was. So get your holiday shopping finished early and start making time for yourself with the new Me Undies Holiday Collection. Their undies, loungewear, and sleepwear are made out of the softest, most supple fabric you've ever felt and are guaranteed to bring comfort and joy to all your loved ones. Shop the classic plaid prints for a traditional picture-perfect style or get festive with their adventurous limited edition sweater prints. Available in sizes extra small through four or XL, me undies have what you need to make all your favorite people smile this holiday season, all in one convenient place. Feel free to start thinking about yourself now. And don't forget, you can get 20% off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee when you head to MeUndies.com slash theories. That's MeUndies.com slash theories. Link is in the description down below. But here's the thing. Was that even really Zerg at the end credits? Absolutely not. Because as I said earlier, we have yet to meet the real Zerg and the evidence is everywhere. For one, we already know that old Buzz, who is posing as Zerg, traveled into the future where he simply stumbled upon a ship full of technology you couldn't even imagine. And apparently he got super lucky with this encounter because by all accounts, nobody's home. He was able to waltz right in, steal the suit and the ship. But so what you should be asking yourself is, who did he steal it from? And the answer is, of course, the real Zerg, who is almost undoubtedly Buzz's father. Dad. And the obvious clue, if you want to call it that, is that Toy Zerg, who is based on movie Zerg, makes this exact claim. No, Buzz. I am your father. And much like Buzz in the first movie, he fully believes himself to be the actual Emperor Zerg. So he has no reason to lie about this. But don't worry, it's not just that. 
we have a lot more. First of all is Buzz's guess right here that the man in the suit is going to be his father. And can I just say, this is so clever by Pixar because they know you're expecting the twist to be that it is his dad because of the line in Toy Story 2, but instead they twist it again and reveal that it's actually old Buzz. Here's the thing though, the fact that Buzz guesses it's his dad says a lot. It means he has reason to believe it could be his dad. It means he doesn't actually know what happened to his dad, but based on Buzz's career choice and his guess about who might be in the suit, it sounds like his dad was probably lost in space. Uh, yeah, Jay, that's great, but don't all the robots on the ship call old Buzz Zerg because they're just mispronouncing Buzz? Robots can't quite say Buzz, so around here I'm just Zerg. Because if the name Zerg is just being generated by a random mispronunciation, isn't it really unlikely that the actual owner of the ship is also called Zerg? Zerg. Yes, that would be a completely wild and altogether unbelievable coincidence if that was the case but it's not. What's happening is that old Buzz is simply wrong in his assumption that the robots are mispronouncing his name. At best, what's happening is they're starting to say Buzz, but then cutting themselves off and continuing on with their regular programming of saying the word Zer. <laughs> which is what they all normally say all of the time because their actual owner is the true evil Emperor Zerg who Old Buzz stole from. And again, said evil Emperor Zerg is actually Buzz's father. And I know what you're thinking, yeah, that sounds great, but where's the proof? Well, the proof is in the details. Yeah, see what it did? You may have noticed if you looked around at all the buttons in Zerg's ship and on his consoles that they all appear to be in an alien language. Which honestly, when I saw I got really excited because it looks a lot like Arabesh, the Star Wars alphabet, which I feel like is very intentional, but also not really the point here. So whatever, we're just gonna move past it. He told me enough. What is important is that despite everything else being in an alien language, there is one English letter that remains prevalent on Zerg and all of his associated minions and toys. The letter Z. All of the robots on the ship bear this emblem on their chest. The video game goes as far as to make the circular entrance to Zerg's base the shape of the letter Z. And the toy Zerg even has a Z holding up his cape. And this is all very telling because it means the robots aren't mispronouncing the word buzz. They're just saying Zerg. <laughs> It also suggests that while Emperor Zerg rules over an alien race, that he himself is human and has decided to use a letter from his old alphabet as his symbol. But of course, it's no surprise at all to us that he's human because we already know what his identity must be, Buzz's father. I am your father. So in a nutshell, what's happening here is that old Buzz used the hyperdrive to travel into the future where he actually did find his father's ship, but then immediately stole it and traveled back to the past. Buzz's father is missing because he was likely a space ranger as well, who also discovered crystallic fusion, used it to travel into the future where he then conquered it. The whole future made himself emperor. And if you need any further proof that old Buzz is not the actual Zerg, then look no farther than this. The director of Lightyear himself, Angus McLean, actually responded to me on Twitter and confirmed it. <laughs> And guys, before we go, quick announcement. This Friday, we are going to be doing a live trivia stream, which is a really special trivia stream because we are going to be revealing this year's Animal Mug, which are going to be the final run of Animal Mug. So if you don't have one, if you wanna make sure you get one, be there. It's gonna be this Friday, November 4th at 6 p.m. Eastern. All fandom trivia. So excited for you guys to see these. They look so good. Mark your calendar. But guys, as always, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss any future Pixar theories from us. If you want to see how Lightyear fits into the greater Pixar universe, you can check out this video right here. But Ben, otherwise, until next time, I will see you in another life, bro.